Data with the button. Ultimate Command, the odds on favourite. Gate Spring, they're off and racing. Ultimate Command step reasonably. Away very quickly, just so sassy. Kripalenko, Norwich, and Ultimate Command for new runners pushing through hard now to find the back of just so sassy soon after the start. Russian Sniper, Enchanting Sound, settling well back. Likewise, then Big Cities. And last is Busters Free, and they're absolutely hightailing. At the 600 mark, just so sassy with pace to burn leads the way, coming to the home turn by a length over the favourite Ultimate command. Norwich is up there third. Kripalenko fourth down near the fence. A length away enchanting sound. Russian sniper just behind those. Big City and Busters free. Homeward bound by the 300 now and Norwich cruised up. Trying to go with it is ultimate command. Kripalenko getting a rails run. Enchanting sound joins in as well with about 75 to go. Kripalenko's got right up on the rails to grab the lead from enchanting sound. It's Kripalenko. Enchanting sound. Kripalenko. Kripalenko won it by a head enchanting sound. They beat off Norwich third, running on to grab fourth, Russian sniper. Oh, ultimate command. Hasn't that been a costly commodity? In behind them, Busters free, followed further back, big cities, and toward the tail, the fleet-footed just so sassy who gave up like a prick balloon. Kripalenko. Number five, Kripalenko. Blue bag is up and about, no doubt, after hearing that win by Sh Machino. Coming off the straight five course racing at Pinjarra recently with a couple of very good performances. Jay Whiting hugs the Dulux and uh, gets the job done over Enchanting Sound at good odds. Chris Parnham, Norwich, they beat off into third, running on to grab fourth, Russian sniper. But the big flopper ruined the race, ultimate command, Opened at 165. Goodness gracious me, 165. Got to 180 in the end. But boy, it has been a, a fair old disaster for those that jumped in early doors and took the 250 and 290. About ultimate command, it has been well beaten. Kripalenko, no surprise this victory though by Machino from Brooks Me Baby for Greg, Mrs. K, or Greg Buglehole and Ms. K Brookman. Uh, trained by Greg and written by Jason Whiting. And... They ran the clock 57.99, home in 34.18. And the winning margin, a long neck, a length and three quarters, second and third place getters. Kripalenko cracking its maiden today. And uh, good to see as well. Second placing to number four, Norwich. Holly Watson by Demerit from Peronga Up Road, trained by Karen Kersley. In fact, seven, I should say. Enchanting sound, second, not Norwich. Enchanting sound by Gingerbread Man from his chief bound, Nev Parnham, Chris Parnham and Norwich third. Fourth to Russian Sniper. So there they are, the details. 5742, 5742, the interim placings after the running of the second for the day. Kripalenko with Jay Whiting getting it home to victory. Had a look at the shades today and uh, recent form had been very good from difficult gates at Pinjarra on that straight course. The third, the Unite Resourcing Handicap over 1,200. Number four, if I didn't have a dime, and nine SAS machine of the scratchings. We've got eight running at 139. Let's go down to Lockie. And although going into the race of Maiden this afternoon, uh, recent form at Pinjarra had been very good from some pretty sticky gates there. Yes, Darren, I'm now joined by a winning trainer in Greg Bugelhall. Greg? What a win it was, a maiden in a Westbead Platinum race. What were your expectations of this horse coming into today? Well, the thing is, mate, we, we, we uh, tossed it up a bit and uh, he, he's run the times, you know, all over he's down the straight, but he's in the middle of the track. And I thought, you know, he's a Platinum horse and I thought, uh, I, I think he's up to, to doing this and uh, proved to be right for once. Prior to, to today, he'd only had the six career starts. Is it fair to say he's been a, a work in progress? Mate, he's, he's a big horse and I always had a fair opinion of him, so I thought, well, we'll just uh, take him along nice and slow. And there's always a little bit, uh, a bit there to be one later on, so we just took our time. The blinkers went on today and despite them looking like they rolled along at a really hot tempo out in front, the blinkers clearly helped him travel into the corner. Well, they did, and at Pinjarra, we noticed, like, he, he, I know he's on the outside of the field, but he, he, he run away from, and he, he looked around a bit, and he, like, he's still um, mature and mentally, and he's, he's, he's been green, you know, his green's been his problem, and, and each start, he, he, that, that, uh, he, we cure that a little bit each start, I think.
the way he found the line, you'd think that 1,200 wouldn't be beyond him? Yeah, that was nice. He, uh, but I know he's really fit. He's really fit. And uh, let's take him home and have a look at him and see where he's at. And uh, that probably will be the case. A nice double with the Blues yesterday? Yes, mate. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting over that. And got another little present today. So... Uh, Go the Blues, eh? Something for the boys. Well done. Oh, thanks, mate. There's Greg Buglehole after the win of Kripalenko, and here's Jason Whiting catching up with Scotty. Well, Zachariah Bow, Miss Anonymity, and now Kripalenko. Greg Buglehole's team's going well, isn't it, Fishy? Yeah, and hey, um, whatever he's changed, uh, he's got them all going super. They're racing well. Shays went on this horse today, back around a bend after a couple of runs where he's on the wrong side of that Pinjarra straight, and when the gaps appeared top of the straight, he accelerated really nicely. Yeah, he did. He travelled. They went hard enough. Um, because when I rode him previously, he sort of did over race a bit in the run. He's still figuring things out, but the speed was really good today, which just gave him a chance to take him off the brile and work his way into it. Nice way to break your maiden status. Yeah, for sure, yeah. No, you come to a Saturday when these West Speed um, races, they're good for him. So what about later on today? Another strike, a thought on his effort last start? Um, yeah, the horse is going super. Um, he's looked the winner his last couple and just hasn't got the job done for us. He's got the visors on today, and yeah, just hopefully that can spark him to a win, but he's definitely going well enough to win the race. Fingers crossed today's the day. Well done, Fishy. Thank you. There's Jason Whiting combining with Greg Buglehole and Kripalenko to break maiden status in race number two here at Ascot.